Hey everybody, it's Wednesday again and I had an amazing meeting. Um, this week I lost 2.6 pounds. So all that work I've been doing the past uh, four to six weeks is finally like really paying off, really showing up in the um, on the scale, not the mail. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, yeah, I'm I'm really happy about it. Um, it's been tough sticking with the program with you know small losses or even small gains, but quite honestly, the more consistent you are, then it seems the more success you will eventually get. Sometimes it just does not happen when you want it. So, with that being said, um, this week meeting is about setting goals. Well, actually, we discussed last week's like self-love kind of a fulfillment thing, and we all we had some really interesting guests in the meeting today. Um, some newer members, but also some older mem some lifetime members, or um, about talking about their like self-love poem. Some of us wrote like the acrostic poem, I believe is what it's called, where you use the letters of your name and then you put like a word that starts with that letter. Um, and there were just, I, I can't really describe or like remember verbatim what was said, but there were just some really interesting and awesome comments being made about self-discovery through this program. And um, I think that's something that comes with just time and pushing through frustrating weeks or months even, you know? So, um, bye. Bye, Lily. Um, so that was, it was a really insightful meeting. It had a lot of feelings, lots of feels going on, but, you know, sometimes you just need to take a break and whatever, talk about emotions. So anyway, um, speak back to goals. Uh, a lot of people have heard of the SMART goals, the specific, measurable, attainable, realistic time to uh, set your goals. Um, but Weight Watchers has like a seven step thing that is sort of self encompassing. It, it's like the SMART goals, but different. Um, they want you to define your define success on your terms. My cat just jumped into a box in the closet. <laughs> um, so, you know, what does success mean right now for you? Think small. So maybe something that's not necessarily, you know, you want to get more fit or you want to become more active instead of jumping to a big goal, maybe just what can you do this week? to be more active. Um, nail down the how. How are you going, staying with that theme, how are you going to be more active? Um, you know, it. are you going to work out for 10 minutes? You know, are you gonna send a reminder every hour? Um, is it just gonna be twice this week that you get up and do something uh, that you're, you know, really focusing on as being active? You know, you have to, you have to think about that. Keep it real. Um, you know, you have to consider your work schedule, family needs, social life, and so on. Uh, we can't just put our our life on on hold to accomplish some of our goals. You have to learn how to work around it. So, um, figure out how. Okay, so I want to be more active. I only want to work out uh, three times this week, for example. Ha but I have commitments on these days, so I'll, you know, if I want to work out on that day, I can't do it at that time. You know, just fitting it into your schedule, I guess. Um, be flexible. Uh, that's a good. That's good advice to be flexible. Have a plan B, and don't get discouraged with that like all or nothing um, thinking. That perfectionist thinking that we sometimes get into. Um, if plan A was to go for a walk and then that day comes around and it's pouring rain or really cold outside and you just can't see yourself going outside, have a plan B. What can you do instead, you know? Um, don't compare yourself, okay? That's very true. It's very, you know, it's, I think there's healthy comparison though. I think there are ways to give yourself like 
uh, gosh, what's the word I'm thinking of? Sort of like, uh, know where you are, you know, like kind of give you an idea of like, okay, well, I'm at this, I'm at this fitness level right now. I want to get to this fitness level, you know, just to have benchmarks. Uh, that I think that was the word I was looking for. How, you know, to set benchmarks. And sometimes that's not necessarily comparing yourself to like your friend or another person, but maybe um, your skill level set compared to a, maybe a more advanced skill level set. That sort of makes sense. Um, and then number seven is use my success story. Okay. Well, um, if you go and weigh in your little booklet, has your success story and you can um, you can you can write your story out your why you can write down ah, looking forward looking back your 16 week check-in and thoughts for the next 16 weeks and you can do measurements and obviously it does track your your weight loss um, go, you know progress I mean the whole point of joining Weight Watchers is to lose weight um, or maintain weight, you know, and that shouldn't be ignored. It just doesn't necessarily mean that needs to be the only goal you set. So you could maybe write some things down in here. Totally up to you. So um, my goal that I actually have had, I've been putting in action for the past three months has been to write in the uh, daily journal, the Weight Watcher journal, and fill it all the way up. <laughs> and I know that sounds kind of like, duh, why wouldn't you fill it all the way up? But you don't know how many of these journals, not necessarily this particular kind, because this is the new beyond the scale kind, but in the past, I would buy three month journals. I, it would feel like a new start to me. It was a fresh new book, you know. I was really motivated to fill it up. And then maybe four weeks in, something happens and I don't write in it. And then I feel like, well, I can't skip a day. Like, I've ruined it and I can't, I can't get myself back in it because it's not continuous. And I'm a little OCD about it. I'm a little perfectionist about it. And this time when I, since it's, I believe they're like, ten dollars and this time they're at least a little bit nicer in my opinion um, my I set a goal when I bought this to fill it all the way up um, I, let me see when I bought this week one was December 16th that was day one and I said no matter what happens um, that I needed to write something every day and fill it up and I just want to show you two days in particular that normally I would not have written in, and I did this time. And <laughs> the I think you're, you might find it funny, but I wrote, <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, totally didn't care, pity party. Pity party times two. And like I, I tracked like two things that day, you know? Um, five cookies, cookie dough, sushi, uh, you know, I two hard ciders. <laughs> uh, and, but I, tr Writing it down at least a little bit, for some reason, made me feel like, hey, I, I acknowledged it, you know? And then, <laughs> a few days later, Christmas equals fail, and day after Christmas equals bleh. And I, I'm not gonna, you know, I, looking back, I don't think Christmas was necessarily a fail. Um, maybe I didn't reach the personal goals I had wanted. Oh, Sunday, too much junk. That week I gained 2.6 pounds. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I, I still learned something. And in the 2020 hindsight, which I also really like this, I wrote, pity parties are not allowed with food. Only baths and movies. <laughs> um, and then for fitness, I wrote, for my fitness recap, I wrote, holidays messed up my schedule and exhausted me. And then I said, if it, under the question, is there anything you want to change for next week? I said, if I ever bake cookies... To put them in bags so I don't eat so many. Maybe instead, maybe instead bring fruit and veggies and find more me time. And what I mean by that is instead of baking cookies for, because I baked cookies for our Christmas party or for a family, maybe next time I bring fruit and vegetables. 
Um, and when I say put them in bags so I don't eat so many, I mean like put them in smaller portions. Like two in a bag so that I grab a baggie and not... I had like gallon bags full of cookies. It was, it was rough. Um, and then... I said, it said, what did you do for fun? Anything for me time? And I said, escape from the family by taking care of the dogs <laughs> and journaled a bit. And you know, those are, the, you know, I, I don't know. I just feel like writing down even that I didn't have a good day and filling up the page mentally did something cleansing because I have kept, ever since then, I have been writing, I've been tracking it every single day here and on the Weight Watcher app online. Um, I don't know, and, and then the notes section each week, I, I actually do write things down. Sometimes I meal plan there. Um, I wrote next Christmas be in charge of the veggies and fruit tray versus cookies. Um, I wrote down, I would have I would have preferred I still track at least one to two meals per day and write my three positive things. That would have helped more. Um, I said, this week I had a pity party from Wednesday through Thursday. Friday through Sunday was the excuse of the holidays and family. Um, I should have drank more water too. So these are like tips for future self that, you know, I went through this. This is exactly how I felt at that time. Not now, three months later. At that week, how I can do better next time. And then for 2015... Um, I, I guess I wasn't really, it's obvious I wasn't feeling very high spirited at the time. I wrote down accomplishments from 2015. Um, I said we sold our house, we bought a great new house, uh, we, moving to Georgia was actually very smooth. And I made new friends in Georgia and I've been keeping friends in Maryland. So um, yeah, sometimes I write workouts down. Uh, just in goals for myself and I can look back on this and just I don't know I'm just really proud of myself for filling it up and so for my goal you know obviously my big goal was to fill this whole thing up I'm on week 11 it didn't happen overnight in fact I had to take baby steps every single day to accomplish the goal it was completely realistic for me to do um, and yeah, I feel really great doing it. So your goal does not need to be anything like mine. Um, in fact, I have many other goals outside of just uh, outside of this journaling. It's just one that I feel like I can share that I can make progress every day, every week versus something like um, my physical, like my CrossFit or, or powerlifting goals. Those are, those are goals that take like three months. Um, obviously I go to the gym multiple times a week, four to five times a week, and um, I work on them then, but I don't know. I just felt like she wanted a different kind of example to talk about. So I've been rambling for way too long. It's been too long of a video. Anyway, I hope you had a great week, and I hope to see less of you next week. Bye.